basically, um, basically, I'm just going to get start doing some uh, video logs um, in regards to trying to upload some information in regards to getting all my evidence on video or on YouTube. So then, basically, yourself, you can then basically get a head start on these fraudsters that are working in these other places in the law firm that I've been going for three years, and basically, just knowing a bit about it or just know how it works um, can help you and assist you. Then that they take all your ID or your medical details and then they um, stop you from public services like hospitals, police stations, courts and etc. So they use that all from a remote location whilst having Wi-Fi medical equipment inside you. Anyway, so I'll just put this on YouTube um, and then basically start video uploading it as I go whilst um, I'm not doing too well internally in my organs and my heart's been stopped nearly, nearly 70 days plus, I wouldn't even quit. But it's been a long time. Ba basically, when they locked me up in uh, Bankstown, um, I think I was out on leave that they one of those days that they stopped my heart and mom's heart while I was on the lounge. Um, and they had definitely had 30 uh, constables there with sergeants looking in. Um, when they did that, they'll keep trying and trying it. We had the Bankstown crew 100% there, um, the St. George crew was there, um, and the Liverpool crew. And um, obviously, had the sergeants just. Just looking in because they've been trying to stop me my heart for one year. They were bashing and bashing it, running endoscopic capsules to it, and it's like you know, coming up from this side, and going into it, boom, 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 or coming up there and bringing a disc and then grinding it, or punching a hole in it through it, or coming from the top and cutting the top or cutting the bottom and then um, letting it bleed or cutting my artery from over here somewhere and just let it fill up behind your stomach bag. So you have um, your stomach bag and then it just fills up. Uh, from behind, mm -hmm. so you have a stomach bag from there, and then it just fills from there behind. So basically, that's what um, they've been doing to me 24 7 in that regard. So, that's going to be so cool in that regard. So I'm basically trying to survive, as you can see, my face, um, they driven it up towards in between my neck, so you got your throat, and then in between there, all up to there, my eardrums that go in the middle there, they've uh, cut that. You can see my skull on the back here. They grind it all my skull. They cut it in three pieces at one stage and then trying to kill me behind a car and then said, Oh, his skull split open. And they grinded it all together. Um, I don't know if it's still there anyway, or what I don't know how they did it. Um, and you can see right behind my ears, my skull is much more thicker than um, around every other place internally when you have a look, you'll have it to see. Um, plus my brain inside there had like a little disc and they expanded it all the way across. And then started eating it up inside, and then had like a little endoscopic capsule just cutting away. They had three of them. This was when Michael Hickey, and um, uh, you had an obviously a superintendent, and then uh, the one or two other ones, and then doing it at one time. Uh, that was back when uh, my sister came back from um, uh, Queensland, and uh, they tried to do it then because she was here. They knew that she was my exit of my will, so it would have been easier. They would have covered him up and then missed the autopsy, etc., etc., and said that, okay, he was on this or he was in the hospital or whatever. Uh, basically, they wanted to then tell the story the way it was or um, whatever allegation. That's what they basically do. They kill the people that they basically don't want and then just tell them, tell the story for him. Well, he's an MH record person, he's a mental person, or he's uh, on substances or whatever, and in that way they. Uh, uh, discredit you in the media, then your family has a hard time then trying to prove that or battle that. Plus, they have sergeants then stopping you at the stations, constables, and trying to attack you. Um, superintendents managing all this, or if not, the commissioner himself. Who knows? Um, all I can say is a coincidental that when the, those three acts that I can see, we got the mental health act 2007, he started then being commissioner. Then also you have the um, uh, the blueprint come in into Australia that the law firm started to use around that time ish and it's called synthetic telepath or something like that um, it's uh, about 100 victims that the FBI released in regards to similar kind of crimes but no one's ever been able to uh, identify or the equipment has never been exposed and it's never come out so there's a guarantee with this person here it's going to be coming out or in one of the 17. Uh, they've had other people that they've robbed before in civil cases and kept them inside. They're not Dr. McDonald, there's Comcare, Monica, and family from the KFC case, and uh, Scott's parents. Um, it's 
Nathan's parents, uh, Scott's parents, order to pay a million dollars in recall. Some kind of a search engine will find this. Anyway, um, so with mine, there's an autopsy guarantee. If I didn't were to die, even though they were to um, kill me, pop me off, and they cover it up, and then post mortem, fake it, and then you and my family, we decide to sign off with the coroner, which I've been able to go to the coroner's office and then basically let them know this is the situation um but with my settlement of my property that i was in building which i have a at the back there your mom gave me an opportunity to build at the back we subdivided and we're going to build in the back and we're going to rent this one out and get in the back and it would have been nice for pension and everything oh cool we were on the way up <clears throat> um the houses are both paid off except for that back house we got a construction loan after we sold one property um to fund half the build and then the half was uh funded by um anz um, which is good the construction loan you have to build it per stage, per schedule, and then uh, pay off your carpets, your carpets, your bricklayer, uh, pay off your concrete, etc., etc., et cetera, and manage it that way as an owner builder. Um, so since they attacked me, that building has been put on hold. As you can see, my time's occupied in doing statements or uh, writing or getting attacked or trying to get to a hospital or getting put, getting set up by police or getting bashed by police, which I'll upload all the pictures in a second in regards to my YouTube channel that I'll put up uh, just evidence in regards to the, the scars that he left on my neck um, and uh, try to get shaken from death on the floor saying give up your life, give up your life whilst he tells his constable um, and senior to swipe his evidence and so they went in my bag and a camera that was recording from the from the camera uh, from the camera from my bag that he was basically recording they recorded everything, all that and also the stopping me and playing their games in the Bankstown police station Anyway, um, so they swiped the SD cards out of my voice tracker, not this one, another one, it's like a little voice tracker that I use, like lawyers use very much, and they just took the SD card knowing exactly where the SD card was, and then also the camera knowing where the SD card was, so they knew had pre-knowledge, like many other officers, they just have pre-knowledge, they have information that only someone can get if they are around me 24-7, or they know where my things are, or who I am, or all that kind of stuff. So that's how you, I was even able to identify them as a suspect or if not have direct evidence or bashing or setting me up or just words that they would say or things that just doesn't make sense. So, um, anyway. Um, back to my point, I forgot my point. Anyway, so this Wi-Fi medical equipment is, I've documented it as much as I can. I can explain it to as much as I can because it hurts and I can feel it. Um, with what I've been told, I remember I've got a mic in my ear don't know where, but um, uh, they try to say that they dropped it in, they were playing this little McDonald's investigator, the whole thing, trying to investigate you for this McDonald's milkshake thing, that's how you know it's from the law firm directly, and then the stolen document that they presented in court whilst then attacking me in an award, trying to kill me, and then uh, no one would have known who the mental person is dead in a ward, no one would have known. You don't get to do anything. They did. They charted medication to cover it up. They pushed me to different hospitals. They try gassing me, burning me by electricity, all from a remote location. Um, so then they can blame it on the hospital or just wipe away debt and then use the stolen data then to just leak it enough, just enough with that news article. Scott's parents ordered to pay legal costs. Dead boy's parents. And then they would have used that dead boy, my mom's parents, dead boy. She would have then fell. You, they would use the equipment in her to do a wrongful death suit and then leak, get the coppers that then uh, just to leak it just enough in the media, stand there like as a commissioner and say, mm, I'm offering a reward uh, and you know about it, something like that, like, you know, and then that's enough. Then McDonald's would have been, uh, uh, sorry, they would have then challenged McDonald's after setting them up in the media crime, which they're s set up anyway in this regards in the media crime. Anyway, I just gotta take this phone call. Hello? Hi, Catherine. How are you? How are you going? Good, thank you. Good, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you want to come see us? Um, look, I can't today. And yep. I know I text you for next Tuesday. But I'm not going to be able to do it on Tuesday because I've got to do coffee club and all sorts of stuff. So I was wondering if maybe I could do it next Wednesday. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I got your yeah. um, messages. So I'll, I'll book it in for next Wednesday then. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. So Wednesday's the 7th, so are you okay if I come in the morning, like at about um, 
Yeah, that's fine. Totally fine. Yes. And you were a little bit concerned about some things at the moment. Well, yeah, that's something that I'm going on, uh, that's going on um, with me, my mum, my nephew, um, with a couple of police officers and this uh, law firm and these couple of lawyers. That's what um, I was just letting you know that this is the situation. Yeah. And uh, um, I, okay. I basically, it's not just myself, it's just a couple of other people that they've done this to previously and also have planned around me. And uh, it's a hard predicament I am I'm in, and it obviously it will only be proven over in time, meaning like either through time, either through surgery or through an investigator from the AFP assisting. Um, then yeah. it'll be proven. Then at the moment, it's very hard for anyone then to even assist me. So I thought, yeah, I did send yeah. you that messages. Um, so hopefully, yeah, I, I just don't know what to do in that situation. Maybe we can talk about it next Wednesday or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just a bit concerned about how you were feeling and if you're feeling unwell or something like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, look, I can, I'll come and see you next week and we'll have a chat then. And if um, you're concerned in any way about how you're feeling or anything like that, just send me a text message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you, is someone from Community Mental Health at Bankstown your caseworker? Uh, no, they've got a Liverpool um, one out here. Um, okay. There's a combat team oh, from okay. the Liverpool Hospital. Yeah, so you don't uh, they come out, yes, they they uh, they come out. I've got a doctor's appointment that's scheduled for the 1st of December. Um, oh, okay. So right. I'm going so to see one of them. So that's yeah. good for you to go and do that. Yeah. So, do, yeah, so get, get, you know, um, obviously trying to test, do, do attend that. Um, if you have any concerns or anything about how you're feeling or anything like that, give me a text. Send me a text message, will you? Okay, not a problem. Yeah, that's totally fine. Thank All you very right. much for that. Yeah, Appreciate take it. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mom. No worries. Take care. See ya. Okay. Bye. 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 She's a nice lady. She's a social worker. She's from Bankstown. She uh, comes, came into the hospital and they locked me up there, basically. Um, and uh, all the staff there are very nice. You have a couple of doctors and nurses uh, that are in mental health that are part of this group. Uh, but like ladies like that, uh, some psych regis in Bankstown, beautiful people try to assist you all they can do is rely on what's then being fed to them and this is the whole situation they can make a fake illness make like uh, whatever they want to do in regards to covering up their actions and saying that okay he's his brain that's making it up and then they psych regis people believe it's true that he's got a mental health illness that he believes he's got wi-fi medical equipment in him or something that's what they put there in regards to making it difficult for people around me to believe. And that's the con job of my mum, my nephew, and everyone else that they then believed for a whole year. I even believed for a whole year. So that's the whole predicament that I'm in. And then now people are seeing, and I'm talking, walking, and everything makes logical sense. He's, he's building his house, he's got his mum, and it just doesn't seem right. And this possibility is very high. So that autopsy thing is a guaranteed thing if they were to kill me too. I didn't have that before. I never had a will. I never thought anyone would happen to me. You know, when I got that back in 2014 and I started building. Anyway, long story short, um, my, my heart has been stopped. My, my kidneys, my lungs, um, like my whole spinal cord towards the back. Um, my my skin and all that kind of stuff has been pretty much. Uh, used between the flesh and they were driving the endoscopy up. It was pretty much easy once you're laid down and you got um, gravity on their side. But then sometimes you have to sleep upwards. That doesn't assist me when they've got my mom and my nephew then trying to get them to believe that this is what's happening to me. So that was an interesting situation that uh, we were in and then slowly they're believing me. It takes time now. But do I have time from all the cut arteries and all that kind of stuff? Police officers know that there's so many reports that I've made then. So someone will look into this either way or I've made a suspect list. I've done all the hard work, hard, hard yards, but that during the period of time, they could have got away with all this. Same with the law firm. No one knew about that stolen document from Dr. Bright. Everyone said, there was no money in it. Um, why would we kill him? Don't look at the law firm. Don't look at his proof of cases. It was the police officers acting misbehavior or ex-police officers or an ambulance person or whoever it is. They can push anyone out of the 50 and say, this is it. Instead of looking at all the 50 for that financial crime that they basically trying to commit it's a fraud but um, when the equipment comes out then it could be classed as uh, poisoning arm robbery or uh, um, murder equipment or something like that whatever I don't know but it's never been done before so back to that 
blueprint I was talking about from 2007, uh, Synthetic Telepath thing that uh, if you look it up, uh, you'll see some, or the FBI release of the Synthetic, it's that, uh, that 100 and gives you a bit of a, a blueprint of the things that the Wi-Fi medical equipment can do or a medical research lab can do. And, but these are lawyers that then have um, uh, cross-examined specialists and uh, professors before on stand and won million dollar cases uh, for their clients and or did not discredited witnesses or kept them big rich people uh, out of jail and stuff like that. They do stuff like this, right? Um, knock off a witness. And uh, this money that was available from that McDonald's history and ca uh, that incident happened back in uh, 10th of June 2011 at the McDonald's Kosova restaurant here, which they knocked down and rebuilt again, just like the KFC case. In regards to that thing ties together, um, in regards of how they basically first try to do what they did with Nathan's parents and try to get me to bid up and pretty much hold me hostage and get me to try to settle out of court after smartly using fraud after fraud after fraud, fake documentation, uh, false modifications in either imaging or whatever it is to my lawyer, getting him then to cease to act for me, left for me right here. Like how they were trying to get me and my mum to, to like separate and then me and my lawyer to separate. Now they're trying to get me and now they're trying to set up McDonald's in all of these 17 victims that they've then told me in regards to them putting Wi-Fi medical equipment inside them and then the possibility of it is very high in my mum and my nephew. Um, obviously concurring that is then uh, on the way then to do getting medical imaging but um, as you can you'll, you'll see um, most of it is then modified it's not hard then to hack into a radiologist and just keep pushing fake imaging or they think they're seeing something or they probably you have to question each one that I went to some images that I have have that so that means that they wanted it to be found knowing that they were going to kill me and they're going to have to come back and investigate this and even a law firm knew then let's do a fake value uh, liquidation so when they look up here or let's do this offer here so then look don't look at the firm there was not much money in it but they end up scoring big time from saving uh, McDonald's in the, the media crime that they basically wanted to commit or was it saved as to cost because McDonald's didn't want to pay out like, if they did I gave a zero dollar offer why didn't McDonald's then uh, uh, receive that or Jeff Martin trading with McDonald's. I don't know how my statement of claim was about that, but I signed it. This is how much I did cared about it. I really didn't care. I wanted to go to the Kingdom War. I want to stay with my mom and my nephew, and then um, I was going to get married, hopefully, and uh, go uh, doing some preaching work around door to door, um, go on holidays, uh, go see all of Australia, maybe overseas, go on a cruise to um, build my house do one or two, build three or four buildings like that, that's it, and I would have been okay, you know, simple. I didn't even need that court case, but that basically came to my door, straight up. I did not know what was happening in the background since 2011, 12, 13, where I was all planning this, and then 14, 15, boom, they attacked me, boom, they, they, you know, they precisely wanted me dead, they tried gassing me, they tried doing anything and everything. Anyway, um, so 2007, so they had the Surveillance Act also then done at that time, uh, Liverpool, uh, sorry, uh, New South Wales Police then got this tour of scheduling around that same time as well. Same time the commissioner was then on their board. Then you have then four cases that I've talked about settled in 2012, 13, 14. Um, and then this one was about, they all came over here. Old generation and new generation that they had to then train and recruit into this one from 2014, 15, 16. Which then are these 30 constables and friends and family that they then use in regards to giving them assistance or a defence at this stage. Because this is live, it's happening right now. Um, they're listening in, obviously got a mic in my ear and they got the iPhone attached to my cortex, it's probably the best logical explanation that I can give you to the audio that I receive in regards to the um, type 1 equipment that I've, I explained it to you as, and then you have type 2 and 3, 3 was the nano medical equipment, like little tiny capsules with cameras driven around from uh, like an iPhone, you got your iPhone and then you got Wi-Fi, that, like uh, you can share your Wi-Fi and then you can also listen to radio on it. It's the same way then you can remote control from the medical apps, like your little car or something like that. Same way you just imagine medical tools that specialists use. Remember this lawyer, he knows how to then cross-examine specialists. He then uses, uh, try to discredit their claim or wrong for their suits, whatever, and then attack their equipment. Your equipment is what caused that, not the death of him and my company that I'm defending that caused that trauma uh, to your client. 
correct and they cross examine and they try to get the judge then to put down their percentages and uh, get them or do I believe this guy discredit that person discredit that person so then out of a hundred percent the compensation case then basically every dollar they say they basically the company says I'll give it to you or uh, they make a, a deal out of them or sign a pack out of them okay this is a tender we'll do whatever uh, this is McDonald's it's a media company so the, the 26 billion dollar company from down under, he's already got the contract from McDonald's Australia and then 260 restaurants with different companies under each one. So the money there is worth it for him then to fund this Wi-Fi medical equipment to be used to discard other evidence or set up McDonald's with the Type 3 equipment. Type 2 was in the Wi-Fi medical equipment that we used to use, like endoscopic capsules and tubes and grinding tools. The nano medical equipment was then to show that overseas had funded this to then sophisticatedly kill the person, uh, like you know how people talk about futuristic chips and all that kind of stuff. That's that kind of stuff. Um, it's the I I whatever. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it because it doesn't. Uh, anyway, um, if there is equipment that comes out or not, then how did all the trauma happen to him? How does a 33 year old or 35 year old then suddenly die? He's healthy. He's a Jehovah's Witness. He tells the truth. He has no other incentive but then to tell the truth. If not, I'll look like an idiot in the future, bro. I know they'd have to be in front of a judge in the future explaining this audio and this video in front of him explaining to him this is what happened. I'd, um, I'm telling you the police officer doing this will mean about raise that allegation that has to be then I have evidence which I'm uploading onto my YouTube channel. Um, so then other people that um, are around me that I've been least tried to then say hey hey holla 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 something's happening over here man. Um, um, Basically, this is what's up. So if they can follow and listen and get a head start and bring them up to speed, because it's three years. Remember, they're attacking young and old. Remember, there's crimes that these police officers uh, have done, separate from the law firm crimes together. They want to then put those crimes behind them and then put it all together as the one big Commonwealth crime. Remember, this new generation, then this old generation. There was other teams that were doing it with Monica and family, and Dr. McDonald and family, and Nathan's uh, parents and family, Scott's parents. So, yeah, I don't know. Bloody hard. I'll tell you that. Anyway, I'll keep recording. Um, this is just a, just a brief update. And um, as things go on, I record. But I, if I had an EEG cap, plug it straight to the interface, then you could get direct um, um, a simulation proving my, my my equipment from the external point of view. Well, I've got an MRI already, which I'll upload and I'll show you, you can see the equipment in the background. Or I've got x-rays where you can see cables, or you can see in the background, you can see the possibility of something that's external. Um, I have uh, e EMF videos that I did whilst they were using it and attacking me. I can still get that right now, so get the battery up and then so forth, and then uh, I can show you those videos. Um, I can go get a surgeon, but then I've got to try to get everyone together that's then uh, has this. Not the previous ones, the ones that are my friends and family, or at least my family, get us all to an AFP officer, escort it to an MRI machine, and then that's enough proof then for them to do surgery and then also preserve the evidence so that's the weapons as well as you know, the medical equipment, the Wi Fi medical equipment, and um, the organ trauma. So then they can then document take that and preserve that and then save our lives. Um, which needs to be done legally even for a doctor then to do a procedure like that basically. You need legal proof. Um, I have that. My mum needs it too and my nephew needs it too. But then if you're having these police officers that are scared to go to jail or face me in court because they don't want to come forward and say, oh, I was part of this or I did this to you. You don't have to kill me then to solve it because the, my audio is already there. You don't have to shush me up. There's the video. There's my statement right there. I've already written it down. The only reason you're going to kill someone is because you don't want them to testify. Well, that video will then testify, and then my body will testify, and then so it's no point. So I have to then reason with these people, which they know that they've got a mic in my hand, and they, they listen to this audio from their remote location, from a sergeant's place here in Liverpool. Um, I had to have it in the north. Um, anyway, so they basically used it last year to arm Robert McDonald's, myself, and my mum. Money and stuff like that. At the moment, the majority of it doesn't mean much. Uh, I don't know. I have no incentive in that. But, and I'm not going to allow that to cloud anyone's.
Savage Judgment, so I mean, I'll put that out of the picture. There's no more money. There's no money to it. So he's now solving this crime of asking for money and then arm robbery me and asking for oh, this Wi Fi media equipment. That's the only way it's going to go. I don't see any other way. Um, I'm not going to make any money like they want me to, or open a policy and then um, kill me, get my mum to get that, and then they then um, collect on that, and then kill her, and then take the properties and the money from the top. No one will ever know. That was their plan to do it. Um, with policies they opened up before, manage, etc., etc. Um, so they're pretty intelligent in that way. Now it's all folded. Now it's time to prove all that. Let the people know this is what's going on. This is the people that are uh, at, at the... There's little kids that have got a poison inside them. Wi-Fi medical could be used by them. It's classed as poison, but then three types of it used through Wi-Fi to kill someone, you know? Or you can just gas them or whatever it is. Uh, poison their water, or whatever. The things that they've tried to me, um, they try to push and gas through my aircon. Um, try blowing up my house. They, phew, you name it, whatever. Or to cover up their equipment and their actions, um, and then set it up as McDonald's, or even just get rid of us as, at times. Uh, they've made decisions, obviously four organisations, uh, as a group, and then also privately as well. Some are trying to distance themselves and say, "Well, yeah, we've found the gun, and then we also found the person that shot them." And we're telling you the story, and this is how it happened. But the guy telling you the story is then the one that's doing this, is their plan. I'm now trying to tell you right now how it is before I then die, so then you can then get this point of view from this point, and then look that way. What if this guy was telling the truth? What if this guy, you know, and then you can work it out from there. So, anyway, um, this is Chris Pace, the date of birth, 3rd of the 8th, 81. Uh, it's 30th of 11th, 2016. It's 10.04 a.m.